we are here because of you and not any man. We are gathered because we want to experience your glory. We want to see your glory in this glory conference, oh God. Our hearts desire that this year shall end in glory. Use me as your vessel to speak your word and have your way in this place. Touch even those that are watching online as well. In Jesus' name we pray as they take all the glory. <laughs> take all the glory. Play it for me. Somebody open your heart. And in 30 seconds just whisper to God and say, Show me your glory. Just, just desire to see the glory of God. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Just desire to see the glory of God. Talk to somebody. If you came sick, desire the glory of God. And that healing is going to take place right now. We say take all the glory. In Jesus name. And somebody clap their hands to the Lord and say amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, Exodus 33 verse 18. By the grace of God, yesterday I tried to take my time and lay the foundation on our subject of the glory of God. And yesterday we were looking at the essence of the, of the glory of God. The essence of the glory of God. Or if you want, you can say the intent of God's glory. And that's what we looked at yesterday. It was very key for me to look at that so that we can build on that tonight. Somebody says amen. amen. Now look to your neighbor and tell them and say, neighbor, neighbor. are you ready for the glory of God? Amen. amen. Look to the other neighbor and say, I need the glory of God in my life. Yeah, Exodus, Exodus 33 is, is the scripture we read, verse 18, and it said, and he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. And in verse, everything I said yesterday, we have been birthed out of verse 18, and then now today, we'll be able to go into verse 19. And then, um, so today we'll not finish verse 19, we'll finish it tomorrow, amen? amen. We'll, we'll try and break verse 19, and then we'll finish it tomorrow night, maybe Sunday we can look on verse 20, and see what God has for us. Are you ready to read the word of God with me? Yes. Now I want you to read like you mean it, I want you to read with life. Verse 19, at the count of four, read. One, two, three, four, read. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Luke chapter 9. Remember we read Luke chapter 9 yesterday? Luke chapter 9, verse 29 to 33. Luke chapter 9. And we'll read together and I'll explain it a little bit and we'll hang it on the wall and we'll get back to it later. At the count of four again, Luke chapter 9, verse 29 to 33, 1, 2, 3, 4, read. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Thirty-two. But Peter, uh huh. Read loud. One, two, three, four. Verse thirty-two. Let's read. Go. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep, and when they work at work. They saw his glory and two men 
that stood with him. Verse 33. And it came to pass, read, as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias, and not knowing what he said. Somebody says, Amen. Amen. Yeah, the glory can confuse you. You don't even know what you're talking about. Because the glory has come down. Luke 9, 29, I'll read for you. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered. And his raiment was white and glittery. And behold, they had talked with him two men, which were Moses and Elias, who appeared in his glory and spake of his disease, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. And when they were awake, they saw his glory and the two men that stood with him. And it came to pass, as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. So because of the glory, he wanted to stay in the mountains. And let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias, not knowing what he said. So Jesus takes the disciples with him as his hour to redeem mankind is getting closer. The redemption of man is getting closer and he takes his disciples to go pray with him and then um, he begins to separate himself from the people. He goes there to pray and now while he is there, the Bible says Peter, they are now asleep. They are sleeping and then he begins to pray and then while he was praying, his countenance was altered. I told you yesterday, if Brother Reuben makes a suit for Pastor Fred, and because Pastor Fred is taller than me, and he gives me that suit, I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to look for Brother Reuben and say, can you alter it? So when he begins to alter my suit, he's going to adjust it to suit me. So it doesn't matter how crazy it might look. God is able to adjust things to suit you. They may so in this company, there is no job, there is no employment. God can create a position to, to adjust the structure. Somebody say, Lord, show me your glory. He will adjust the structure, the system, so that you fit in. And then the glory has manifested. So his face altered. Then appeared Moses and Elijah in the glory. Not outside. But they appeared in the glory. Now, I'm not going to rush that scripture. We're going to hang it on the wall. We'll come and remove it later. But let me establish these things as we nail that scripture just nail it on the wall. I promise you, before I drop the mic, we are going to come and remove it. Amen? We'll remove it. It won't get stuck on the wall. So now, Elijah appears and Moses. And they are talking to him. It is Moses and Elijah who appear. This is just a bonus. Moses and Elijah appeared, not Joshua and Elisha. Moses needed to de deliver Israel to Canaan. For some reasons, he did not. His son accomplished the mission. His son parted Jordan River. His son divided the land for them. He accomplished what Moses did not accomplish. Elijah did some miracles. Elisha came and doubled the miracles. But when it, when it was time to appear, it is fathers who appeared. <laughs> Because fathers represents foundation. It is not Joshua. Regardless of what he did. It is fathers that appeared. The foundation appeared. Okay, hang it on the wall. Let's move on now. Now, 
Last night I asked the question, said, then what is the glory? Because we talked about so much. Remember, I mentioned five things that uh, uh, when it comes to the glory of God. One of the things I said, the glory of God must be declared. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. So when the glory is declared, the purpose of declaring the glory of God is for man to worship God, is for man to draw closer to God. He wants to talk to Moses, and then nature has to do something so that Moses can get closer. All of a sudden, a fresh tree is on fire, and yet it's not consumed. As if that's not enough, now even a tree talks and says, Moses, take off your shoes. Because where you are standing is the holy ground. What attained that ground to be holy was the glory of God. So nature helps us to know that behind every beauty you see in the world today, there is a greater being than man called Jehovah. And that's why you can't run out of words to worship God. When you look at your wife, you see the, the, the designs of God. She's beautiful. Pick your daughter. She doesn't look exactly like, like your, your wife, but she's also beautiful. It, it is the design and the fashion of God. Talking about the fingerprints, they say each one has got his own, her own, regardless of how many we are. And who can say that there is no God? Are you, are you telling me that happened on its own? No. The, 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 there was, there's something big. That ensures that my fingerprints are not like of Reverend Injau. And we delved into that. Now, uh, today I want to go a bit faster. Now, what is the glory of God? When you're talking about the glory, what it is. I'm going to look at it from Hebrew. Probably you'll be able to look at it from Greek and to drive it down. The word glory has two root words from the Hebrew and Greek. In Hebrew, the word glory means the weightiness of God. My brother yesterday actually mentioned it when we were closing. The weight, somebody say weight. weight. Say it again, weight. weight. No, you know, you remember in science, matter. Anything that has weight and can occupy space. That is the definition of matter. As a grade, primarily level. Matter, anything that has weight. Then can you occupy space? So that's the weightiness of God we are talking about, which, which has to do with the presence of God. Okay? It is cardboard. You heard me talk about cardboard yesterday. So like matter, there must be some ground, there must be some foundation where the glory of God is going to land on. So before Solomon saw the glory of God, he prepared a platform. There was a sacrifice, there was slaughter, and when that was done, boom, the glory of God appeared and people worshipped him. Now, the children of Israel, they knew that they cannot do without the presence of God. They cannot do without the glory of God. And, and then that's why you hear Moses saying, show me your glory. If your presence does not go with us, we're not going to move from here. The, the, the children knew they needed the glory of God. Actually, you can trace back the glory of God back to Genesis. Because every time we're talking about the glory of God, we are talking about the presence of God. Somebody says, amen. amen. So if you go in the book of Genesis, the Bible talks about God coming down and he was able to have fellowship with Adam and Eve. He used to visit them. He used to fellowship with them. And that that's why at some point when the presence of God came down, then they were hiding and he was looking for them. So the, the, the Adam and Eve experienced the presence of God. They lived in the presence of God. In the garden of Eden, there was the glory of God. But after sin, the glory departed. After sin, the glory departed. And that is why they, their eyes opened and saw that they were naked. Before the glory departed, they were okay and nobody was bothered whether they are naked or not. But after the, the glory had departed, they started looking for leaves to cover their nakedness. But because leaves do dry up, the, the leaves are going to dry up again and they have to pick another leaf to cover their nakedness. Is somebody following me? The, so leaves will dry up because the glory has departed. So they are able to see, oh, okay, I'm naked. I need to cover myself. So they cover 
cover themselves with leaves and then now because leaves can't sustain them, leaves will drop again. And that's why the Bible talks about our self-righteousness is as filthy rags. Today you say, I'll never do it again. You repent, you worship God. Tomorrow you find yourself doing it again because you cannot make yourself righteous. Adam, they tried and they failed. And now God came down and killed an innocent animal just like Jesus died on the cross and killed it and slaughtered that animal. Blood came out and removed the skin to cover their nakedness. And Paul says that the righteousness of God, of Jesus, has been imputed on us. So we are righteous because of the works of Christ that he did on the cross of Calvary. So the glory departed because of sin. Now Christ came as the second man to restore us back into fellowship with God so that we are able to experience the glory. That's why yesterday we were able to say that we are called to his glory. Somebody say amen. Amen. So if you look at Adam, you realize that man was designed to be saturated with the presence of God. Man was designed to be sustained by the glory of God. Now every time man is able to feel the presence of God, you begin to see that they begin to move according to the will of God. The book of Samuel also talks about the glory of God. Somebody says amen. The book of Samuel talks about the glory of God. We talked about this yesterday. In 1 Samuel, Eli died. His two sons had gone to war and while seated on his chair outside, he heard some noise and a Benjamite who ran to him and told him four negative news. Number one, he said Israel has fled or run away. Number two, Israel has been defeated. Number three, your two sons, Ophni and Phinehas, are dead. And he was still listening. But the moment he mentioned and said, and the Ark of Covenant has been taken away, immediately he died because how can I be a priest without the presence of God? It's not about titles. It's not about appearance. It's not about making a name. If there's no glory, it's all in vain. That's why on that day, God said, Jesus is saying, I'll say to them, depart from me. I do not know you. And they'll be able to say, but we did this and this in your name. No, it was to your glory, not to my glory. So it has to be about him. The, one, the daughter in law hears about the news that your, two, your, your husband is dead. She went into labor. By the time she gives birth to the son, the name of the child is Ichabod, meaning the glory has departed. She also died. Somebody say, Lord, Lord. show me your glory. Me your glory. I don't want to drive a car without the glory of God. I don't want to have money without the glory of God. I don't want to look successful without the glory of God. I want the glory of God to be the foundation of my success. Because if it came with the glory of God, the same glory will sustain whatever I have. Somebody say, Lord, show me your glory. Say it again, Lord, show me your glory. Now, if you check in Greek, the the word glory, actually, it is able to talk about... uh, the whole essence of God, you'll be able to see it talks about uh, who God is and what God has. Doxa. All that God is and all that God has in a nutshell, which means the glory of God has to do with God himself, his nature, like we talked about yesterday. It has to do with the attributes of God, his nature, his personality, and we're dealing with the glory of God. It has to do with what God can do. Hallelujah. Check your neighbor if they are following me. It has to do with the nature of God and what God can do. And that's why we heard yesterday that God has made us to be partakers of divine nature. Now, the glory of God, I said yesterday, must be revealed. And the glory of God must be experienced. Remember that? The glory must be revealed and the glory of God must be experienced. 
That's why yesterday was very key so that I don't have time to, to break these words again. I gave you an example of Laban's children when I say the glory of God is in dimensions. Somebody say dimensions. dimensions. The children of Laban were able to cry and say Jacob has taken away the glory of our father. They were referring to the wealth, the material, the possession of their father. So to them they said the glory has departed. Then if you come in the book of Samuel, it was the presence of God and they said the glory has departed. So glory is both spiritual and physical. And that's why I gave you again yesterday that the glory of God actually appeared physically in the Old Testament. Exodus 16, you can give it to me. Exodus 16 verse 10. And it came to pass as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation, the children of Israel, that they looked towards the wilderness and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The glory appeared, meaning they were able to see it with their eyes. Somebody say, I shall see the glory of God. Say it again, I shall see the glory of God. There are many examples I gave you yesterday how the glory of God appeared physically. Exodus 24 verse 15 to 17. Exodus 24 verse 15 to 17. And Moses went up into the mountain and a cloud covered the mount and the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai and the cloud covered it six days and the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. Ladies and gentlemen, for six days the glory of God had descended on the mountain and God was silent. He only spoke on the seventh day. So it meant that when they wake up in the morning, they go to Mount Sinai, they'll be able to see the glory of God. I can imagine how their behavior adjusted immediately. Thieves stop stealing, at least you die instantly. Because the glory has descended. They want to insult you. Hey, what is it? Look, look, look. Pointing to the mountain. You may die, the glory is here. So for six days, the glory of God had descended and dwelt among men. Then on the seventh day, God spoke to Moses. If you go down, give me verse 17. Check that. And the, and the sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring fire on top of the mountain in the eyes of the children of Israel. So they felt this thing is going to devour us. Quickly come, I forgive you. I'm so, I've forgiven you. Today you're forgiven. Yes, yes. Today you are forgiven. Do you owe me? Ah, no, 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 no. That money, no. Forget about that money. That's your Christmas bonus. I am afraid that the glory of God may devour me. Somebody say, Lord, show me your glory. So the glory appeared physically. So now the glory comes as a package. Give me Exodus 33 now. Let's go down. Let's break down verse 19. Exodus 33 and the verse of 19. Can we read together church? One, two, three, four, read loud. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. This is the response of God. Give me verse 18. One, two, three, four, read. Uh -huh. Yes. Show me your glory. Now listen to verse 19. God responds to Moses. And he said, I will make Now pause it there. Pause it there. I will make all, not some. Moses, you want to see my glory? I will make all my goodness to pass before thee. In other words, when you talk about the glory of God, 
It is about you seeing the goodness of the Lord. I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. When Moses said, show me your glory. And God said, it is time to show him my goodness. In this conference, we shall see the goodness of the Lord. I'm saying we shall see the goodness of the Lord in this conference. Whatever they are planning, it shall not work because of the goodness of the Lord. I will make my goodness pass before thee. In other words, you are not going to hear about it, but you are going to see my goodness. If this is the goodness of the Lord, then he's able to say, I'll make it pass before thee. You shall see it with your eyes. Behold, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we behold the glory of God. In other words, Jesus, I told you yesterday that in the New Testament, Jesus is the glory of God. He is the exact image or the express image of the glory of God. So when you look at Jesus, you are looking at the glory of God. When you touch Jesus, you are touching the glory of God. So when he says to Moses, I'll make my goodness to pass before thee. In other words, Jesus go down and become like one of them. Go down and pick up the flesh so that they can see you and touch you. They walked with the glory of God. They ate with the glory of God. They were on a boat with the glory of God. They were in the same house with the glory of God. They saw the glory of God. They felt the glory of God. They saw the glory of God rebuking every challenge and wind. They saw the glory of God saying to the wind, be still. They saw the glory and touched the glory of God. When he comes down, it is time to see the goodness of the Lord. It doesn't matter the bad report you have received, but before the year ends, you shall see the goodness of the Lord. I'm saying before the year comes to an end, you shall walk in the goodness of the Lord. In your house, you shall see God's goodness. At your workplace, you shall see God's goodness. Where they curse you, you shall see the goodness of the Lord. That's why in the Bible, the Bible in the book of Psalm 23 says, Surely, goodness and mercy, they shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of God. If you want, you can say, I will dwell in the glory of God forever. My permanent place is still there in the glory of God. So it doesn't matter what is ahead of me. Goodness is behind me. Mercy is behind me. And I'm walking wherever I go. I shall see the goodness of the Lord. Even if people are complaining for me, I shall see God's goodness. Even if everybody is crying for me, I shall see God's goodness. Somebody say yes. Please be seated. Please be seated. I shall see God's goodness. I will not hear about it. But I shall experience the goodness of the Lord. If there are better restaurants in Chuka, I'm not going to hear about them. But I shall experience them. I shall experience the goodness of the land of Chuka. I will not just see dollar on the television. But my hand shall hold dollar in my hands. I will not just say we've got one of the biggest airports in Africa. But my foot shall step on Jomo Kenyatta Airport. Every good thing in Kenya has to come to you. The land of Kenya must release every goodness. Every goodness in Meru, it has to come to you. Every goodness in Chuka, it has to come to you. All you land of Chuka, release what you have. Whatever good is in you, release it right now that we may see the glory of God. Chuka, we shall see God's glory. We have a university, but a television station is coming. That is the glory of God. Chuka will produce doctors because of the glory of God. Chuka will produce bishops because of the glory of God. Somebody say, I shall see the goodness of God. Woo. I'll make, please sit down. I'll make my goodness pass before thee. Let's read on. After the yellow one, it says, and I will proclaim the name. I, uh, I, hope, you, 
I hope you're getting it. Before thee. Ma'am, not behind. Before thee. He says, I will proclaim the name. Somebody say the name. Somebody say again the name. I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. Ma'am, it means if we say I'm going to proclaim the name of the Lord before you, a name brings personality. Names brings identity. The moment you hear Isaac Matza from Zambia, what to strike your mind is not a sniper, no. It is a preacher holding the mic. My attributes will come to you. You will imagine me preaching the word of God. You will imagine me jumping up and about him. If you've got a sick person at home, you'll be able to say, actually, because Isaac is coming, bring the sick, he's going to lay hands on them. You won't bring me guns, no. Because that's not my personality. So the moment you hear my name, my attributes are at attached to my name so when God says I will proclaim my name in other ways I'm going to show you who am I when we say Jehovah Jireh he begins to provide in your life he's going to do it in front of you I am the Lord your banner so when he says I'm the Lord your banner he's going to allow people to attack you when they attack your life they think they are winning and then last minute he steps in to declare himself as the Lord our defender when he said i'm jehovah jireh you will go through some lack people will laugh at you you will lack some money and food while you're about to go to bed he steps in as jehovah jireh he's about to proclaim his name before you his name is jehovah el elion the lord god almighty him his name is jehovah sebaoth his name is jehovah roy i don't care your situation he is about to declare his name in front of you i am your god i am your healer i am your provider i know they are attacking your life but no weapon formed against you shall prosper i know jeremiah they will fight against you but they shall not prosper because i'm there to defend you somebody says show me your glory please sit down sit down let's drive this thing down that is glory that is the glory of god he begin to proclaim his name in front of you they told you that your child will never walk but you'll be able to say jehovah jireh you are the provider and you at the same time you're jehovah rafa you created my baby my baby shall live my baby shall walk all of a sudden you begin to see a child sitting because he has manifested his glory somebody's about to see the glory of god in this conference i don't know what is the challenge at home or your ministry just say lord show me your glory when you step into your car just say lord show me your glory when you look at your children hold the baby in your hands and say lord show me your glory if they say that your child will never pass any exam hold that baby don't bite any demon just say lord show me your glory you've got a court case and you don't have a lawyer they told you you can't win this case all you have to do is to say lord show me your glory they are saying they are gonna divorce you you have tried to talk nothing has happened it is time to go on your knees and say lord in my marriage show me your glory show me your glory and that's what i came to announce tonight we are going to see the glory of god in your body you shall see god's glory in your family you are going to see god's glory lord show me your glory and is here to say i shall make my goodness pass before thee you are not gonna hear about blessings but you shall see the blessings of god you will not hear about healing you shall testify about healing you are not just gonna hear about change growth you shall experience the glory of god your change shall grow your ministry shall grow because i am here to show forth my glory somebody shout and say lord show me your glory He 
please sit down. Sit down. Let's drive it a little bit. I'll make my goodness pass before thee. Give me number 16 verse 42. Number 16. Give me number 16. Can you read together? Somebody say, Lord, show me your glory. Men of God, when they fight, you don't fight back. Just call upon the glory of God. Number 16, verse 42. Can we read together? One, two, three, four, read. And it came to pass. Yes. 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 Uh huh. Appeared. And it came to pass that they gather, that they shall gather not in my name, but they shall gather against you. No wonder he says, No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. So he will allow them to gather so that he can manifest his glory. Because if they don't gather, then there will be no display of the glory of God. So when you're going through trials, don't cry. It shall birth the glory of God. So when they are forming the weapon, he allows them. They want to attack you. So you'll be watching. Then they, the, the Bible says, because the Bible says, no weapon fashioned. Fashioned. Tailor made. Designed specifically for you, not for your neighbor. No weapon that is designed to destroy your ministry shall prosper. So he allows them to design. They are employed and they don't get paid. Ever constructing and designing and it doesn't work. So you allow them to design. They will even test it. That the misa is working. He will allow them to point it at you. He will allow them to shoot. But. It shall not prosper. So they will go back and fashion another one. Again, it doesn't prosper. The more they fashion, the more you're progressing. The more they fashion, the more you're moving forward. Somebody say, Lord, show me your glory. Now, give me back numbers. I want to preach very soon and go. And it came to pass when the, when the congregation, not one person, uh -uh, when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, that they looked towards the tabernacle of the congregation and God appeared to defend Moses and Aaron. Give me verse 44. Jump 43. Go to verse 44 quickly. After they saw the glory and Moses spake unto Moses saying, listen to what God said. Get up from among this congregation that I may consume them in a moment. Because you, you, you are touching Moses. You don't know what he has gone through. You don't know where I picked him from. You are tempering with my glory that he has placed upon his life. Moses, give me way that I may deal with them. And Moses interceded for them. And God spared them. Some of the people that are busy fighting you, they don't know that they're still alive because of your intercession. They think you are a stumbling block. They don't know that they are sustained by your prayers. Somebody say, Lord, show me your glory. Lord, it's going to be nice in a short while. And then, I'm going to jump. I told you the last part of 19 will finish it tomorrow. So he said, I'll make my goodness to pass before thee. Can you give me that one? 33, 18, 19. 33, 19. And I'll make, I'll make my goodness pass before thee. And I'll proclaim the name of the Lord who've dealt with that. Now for tomorrow, it's I'll be gracious to whom I'll be gracious. And I'll show mercy. Somebody say mercy. Please don't miss tomorrow night. And I'll show mercy unto whom I decide to show mercy. So that is for tomorrow night. For now, our business at hand remains on the upper part of verse 19. So actually, you know, you can sense the glory of God when it comes. You give you a signal that he has come. Remember yesterday I gave an example of a cologne? Yes. 
that if the woman of God is looking for the husband, the hubby, and then in, she believes, she believes she's looking for him, and she strongly believes we are together, and then I, I appear without him, she's going to ask me, say, Pastor Isaac, where is my husband? And I say, ah, Mama Gracie, I don't know. And then she's going to say, no, 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 I can smell him on you. Because his, his perfume is so strong that when you hugged him, he rubbed it on you. So can you just tell me where he is? Okay, maybe that example you have not caught it. If the president of Kenya, his excellence, says he's going to visit us in this church, you will see him before you see him. The weightness of his office. You will see him before he appears. Some of you, they shall see you before you appear. After this conference. And if the service is starting at 6 p.m., 1 p.m., the intelligence office, they are already here. They have scanned all this place. They are coming here in their suits. Others are just putting on their shirts. You can't even identify them. Yeah. Okay, they are come as brothers, cutting even big Bibles. They are on a mission. But others, you identify them. They will be able to see others outside there. And now wait for him to come with his entourage. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to see not one vehicle. Uh -huh. Because he's coming in glory. You're going to see a convoy of vehicles. Minister of Defense, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Livestock and Fisheries or Farming, Minister of whatever, they all follow him. And before he steps at that door, you're going to see men in black suit moving around and check, ensuring if Pastor Fred will be sitting next to him, they're going to move him with his side. I say, can, can, can you move this side? And everybody will be wondering what is happening here. And then when we see them, we know that he has come. He has come. So the time he steps in, it's not the first time we knew he's here. We sensed him, we picked him. So when he comes, it is just a fulfillment of what you have already caught in the spirit that is here. And that's what happens, the glory of God. You can sense it. You can feel it that he has come. There are things you have been praying for for many years. And when the answer comes, you sense it in your spirit even before you see it physically. That today I've received my breakthrough and your prayer will change from Father I bind to Father I thank you. Lord, you are great. Thank you for coming through for me. Thank you for my breakthrough. I worship you. I glorify your name. Why? Because you have sensed it. Ask Anna, man of God. Anna, she will tell you that she was being mocked for being barren for so many years, including the priest could not understand so she go to pray and then the priest says, now this is too much now. Because now this day, her voice is not coming out. Just her lips are moving. So now the priest goes on to her and says, woman, for how long are you going to be drinking? The priest concluded that it was alcohol. Not knowing that she's going through issues. That's how bad it was. He did not say, are you drunk? No, he just said, for how long? In other words, I've been observing your behavior. You look like one who is drunk always. Anna will go there. She stands, she looks in the sky, she leaves. Sometimes she has, she has no strength. And the priest says, this woman always comes drunk. So this day, the, the man of God says, when are you going to stop drinking? They say, no, I'm not drunk. I'm a troubled woman. The moment she said that, the priest picked it and said, may the Lord grant you what you have asked for. The Bible says immediately she stood up. Her countenance changed. No more sad. The Bible says she went home and she ate. She has not yet met the husband. But the word from the mouth of the priest, uh, my child is already here. I don't have to wait for Eokana. As long as the man of God has declared, whatever Eokana will do will just be a fulfillment of what the priest has said. She sensed the glory of God and the attitude. Your attitude is going to change tonight because you are going to sense the glory of God. I say your attitude is going to change tonight because of the glory of God. Somebody say amen. amen. Please sit down. I want to close. 
Therefore, we can conclude now from the scriptures that the glory of God has to do with all that God is, which is the presence of God, his nature, his attributes, and all that God has. The manifestation of God. Or I can simplify it in this manner that the glory of God is locked in his face and in his hand. When you talk about the face of God, you are talking about the nature of God, who God is, the attributes of God. When you're talking about the hand of God, you are talking about the manifestations of God. Is that clear, church? If you're with me, say amen. amen. Somebody say again, amen. amen. Somebody say, Lord, show me your glory. Where is the bass guitar we close this thing now? Somebody say again, Lord, show me your glory. Say it again, Lord, show me your glory. Oh, tonight you're going to experience the glory of God. I'm saying tonight we shall experience God's glory. I told you to stick Luke chapter 9 on the wall. Can we remove it from there now, brother? Blessing. And let's close this thing. Luke chapter 9, verse 22 to 32. When the glory of God appears, your life must be transformed. Tonight, your life shall be transformed. Can you read with faith? One, two, three, four, read. And as he prayed, as you shall bow to pray. Hallelujah. And as he prayed. Say it again. And as he prayed. The fashion of his countenance was altered. And his raiment was white and glistering. Go down. And behold. Somebody say behold. They had talked with him two men, which were Moses and Elias. Let's pause it there. As he prayed, brother blessing, as he prayed, his countenance was altered. Something about him changed. As we are about to pray, something about you is going to change. Something about your life is going to change. I told you to alter is to make structural changes. To alter also means to change in character or composition. So when God's glory comes upon your life, there shall be visible change in your life. People will see, people will, will see without even you telling them that the glory has appeared. Give me Psalm 126. I will show you. Psalm 126 verse 1. Psalm 126 verse 1. Let's read together. One, two, three, four, read. Now, let me read it for you. Can you give me verse one, brother blessing? When the Lord tamed again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. When the Lord made some physical changes, we were captives, we were slaves, but the glory of God came down to make some structural changes from being called a slave to be called now a free person. It came like a dream because we stayed for so many years in captivity. So when he came down to deliver us, it was like a dream. When the Lord turned around, things are about to turn. Amen. I'm saying things are about to turn. Amen. You wake up in the morning, you check yourself, the pain is gone. Is it me? Yes, it's you. He has just turned around things. Give me this too now. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. No more crying. Because the glory has come. Amen. And our tongue with singing like Anna. Now listen to the next part. That's where my interest is. Then said who? Ourselves? Who said it? The heathen. That the Lord has done small things, right? Small things. They did not tell the heathens. The heathens were able to see the glory physically and they said the Lord has done great things for them tonight they're going to tell you 
the Lord has done great things for Wild Harvest Church. The Lord has done great things for them. You are not going to be going around testifying. The testimony shall be so evident that everybody shall see. When you shift houses, everybody's going to see it. Somebody say, Lord, show me your glory. Say it again, Lord, show me your glory. It shall be so visible that everybody's going to see it. When God heals your body, you don't have to tell people they're going to see that actually healing has come your way. When God takes you to university, you are not going to be announcing, but everybody will be able to see that God has done it in our life. God has done it for him. Luke chapter 9 verse 30. And behold as I close now. And behold they had talked with him two men. Which were, uh, which were Moses and Elias. Who appeared in glory. Moses appeared in glory. Elias appeared in glory. They did not appear like mere men. But the Bible says they appeared in glory. It means God permitted Moses and Elijah to become the partakers of the glory of God. God permitted Moses and Elijah to become partakers of his glory. They appeared in glory. It's getting hot here. Somebody say, Lord, show me your glory. Say it again, Lord, show me your glory. While he was praying, they appeared. Moses appeared. Elijah appeared. They appeared in glory. That's where my interest is. That they appeared in glory. They appeared in glory. They did not appear in shame. They did not appear in tears. But they appeared in glory. We are talking about Moses appearing in glory. I don't know your story. I don't know what you have gone through. But tonight you are about to appear in the glory of God. Tonight the glory of God shall be visible upon your life. That whenever you go, people shall see God's glory. God permitted Moses and Elijah to appear in glory. I'm talking about Moses who was dead. I'm talking about Elijah who was dead. They were already dead. They had buried Elijah already. Moses, they didn't even know his gravesite. But when the glory of God came down, behold, two dead men appeared before them. Two dead men appeared with Jesus. It doesn't matter what is dead in your life. When the glory of God appears, you also shall appear. Moses, we know him. You died many years ago. Joshua succeeded you. He also died. The judges succeeded Joshua. They also died. Samuel succeeded them. He also died. So came up, died. David came up, died. We can't even remember when you died. But when the glory of God appears, you also appear from the dead. You also shall come forth. I prophesy whatever has died in your life. May it appear with the glory of God. It's not Moses who was praying. It was Jesus who was praying. It was a living man who was praying. It was not Elijah who was praying. But somebody was breathing. Was cooking up prayers. And while he was praying. His face changed. And while he was praying. The dead people started living. It doesn't matter what is dead. As long as we are breathing. It is time to pray. And the glory shall appear. And that sickness shall go. That man shall live again. Whatever is dead shall have life. As long as you pray. Somebody say, Lord, show me your glory. They appeared in glory. They appeared in glory. Not in shame. But they appeared in glory. They are people waiting for you to fall. But you shall appear in glory. They are people waiting for you to die. 
but he shall appear in glory there are people waiting on some bad news i've got bad news for those with bad news for you that you are not going to die but you shall live to declare the works of the lord it is time sugar to appear kenya it is time to appear it doesn't matter what people may say about kenya kenya shall see the glory of god kenya shall appear and africa shall say the glory of god is upon kenya somebody say i shall appear in the glory of god Woo! somebody say yes 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 shout again yes 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 Woo! i said tonight it is time to appear in the glory of god david knew goliath is too huge he's too experienced if i go in my name i'm not gonna make it that's why he went in the glory of god i come to you in the name of the lord and goliath he went down it is time to appear in the glory of god joseph appeared in his glory and his brothers could not recognize him they used to eat with joseph they used to babysit joseph they used to feed joseph they knew his voice what has happened after a few years it is the same joseph whom you sold into slavery it is the same joseph whom you told you are a dreamer it is the same joseph whom you said let us kill him but how come you can't recognize him let me tell you when you appear in glory there is no familiarity when you appear in glory they thought they knew you but you love to reintroduce yourself my name is Fred come on mention your name my name is Dr. Sosi my name is Grace my name is Isaac my name is Isaac somebody say yeah shout yeah Genesis 45 and the verse of 13 and ye shall tell my father of all my glory in Egypt and of all that I have seen in other words you have seen the glory of God so now Joseph after he tells them I am Joseph he now said go tell my father about my glory and everything that he have seen go tell them because God permitted Joseph to appear in glory God also permitted Aaron to appear in glory give me Exodus 28 verse 2 Aaron as well appeared in glory and thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron thy brother for glory and for beauty am i preaching to somebody right now Chuka, can you hear me and thou shalt make it is a command from the lord to moses thou shalt make a holy garment god is about to command some people to make a holy garment for you i don't care where they go but they are about to make a garment for you a garment of honor thou shalt make a holy garment for aaron moses i know that aaron is your brother but this has got nothing to do with you he has everything to do with my glory i'm not consulting you moses whether you give it to him or not but i'm commanding you moses thou shalt make a holy garment for aaron thy brother for glory and for the beauty in other ways i want aaron to look beautiful i want aaron to appear in my glory somebody say i shall appear in the glory of god esther is another person esther appeared in the glory esther chapter 5 verse 2 and it was so when the king saw esther the queen standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight she went as a queen she went dressed in glory and because she appeared in glory she obtained favor with the king i came to 
prophesy to somebody you are about to appear in glory when you go before that board meeting you shall appear in glory when you go back to your husband you shall appear in glory when you go back to your business you shall appear in glory somebody say it is time to appear in glory look to your neighbor and say neighbor say it again neighbor i know you have cried before but it is time to appear and appear in glory i know they are waiting for you to fail come on preach to your neighbor say neighbor i know they are waiting for you to fail but it is time to appear in glory shout yeah shout yeah then they followed joseph and they say there's one man who is able to interpret dreams he's actually a slave he once saved potiphar right now king as we talk he is in prison then the king said go bring him here then they go to joseph and say joseph let's go the king is calling you the job of a king requires speed that's why even the way they drive they don't drive at 40 no matter how you wish you may want to follow them behind they're going to leave you because they have done defensive driving they drive at a certain speed when the president stands he does not stand alone in the twinkling of an eye 15 people stand with him they want to protect his office the office of the president or a king require that things are done speedily so they go to joseph and say joseph come 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 the king is calling you the king wants you while they are taking him fastly while they are taking him speedily he stops them and say wait don't touch me like this i know i'm whom i'm going to appear before when you appear before kings you don't go dressed up in rags when you appear before kings you don't go with a low face give me a break let me change my clothes this uniform of a prisoner it shall not appear before the palace and the bible says and joseph shaved in other words he changed his identity let me shave myself because when the king calls you you are not gonna come back to prison he shaved himself he changed his clothes and when he did that he took a bath he put on a nice perfume and then he tells them now i am ready you can take me before the king nobody shall appear in shame before the king take me to the king and joseph appeared in glory before the king and he never went back to prison somebody tonight is about to appear in glory i said somebody is about to appear in glory in this conference god is gonna change your name that's why he changed the name you are no longer jacob because you have encountered my glory you cannot encounter my glory and keep the same name remember i told you name represents personality names represent character you cannot encounter my glory and remain a failure you cannot encounter my glory and fail your exam you cannot encounter my glory and your husband divorce you you cannot encounter my glory and your business crumble down come i'm gonna change your name you are no longer a failure you are no longer the tail but you are the herd you are no longer behind but you are in front they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like an eagle when you are waiting on god he was preparing your glory moses appeared in glory moses was dead but we can see him talking it is because of the glory of god when you appear in glory it means you have victory over death to appear in glory means victory over opposition 
to appear in glory means victory over every setback to appear in glory means nothing shall be missing nothing shall be broken to appear in glory it means whatever is not there shall come I gave you an example of our president that if the president walks in here he shall come in glory so that if I tell the president I don't have land he's gonna look to the minister in charge of land and say give him land he will look to my brother and say Fred what is your request he says I don't have water in my house the one in charge has to quickly ensure he gets water in his house that's why you've got members of parliament that's why you've got uh, the senate as well they have to represent us whatever the government want to do they'll be able to ensure that it reaches you yeah. let me close with this one first samuel chapter 2 verse 8 and we go and i'll come back tomorrow to finish the last part of verse 19. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 8. Can you read that one together? I'm closing church. Help me close and let's read together. One, two, three, four. Read loud. You can do better than that. Shout. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And to make them inherit what? To inherit what? Look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, our inheritance has come. Come on, preach to somebody. Tell them and say, neighbor, it is time to inherit the throne of glory. He raised up the poor out of dust and he lift up the beggar from the dung hill. They may call you a beggar, but the throne of glory awaits you. They may call you a failure, but there is a throne that awaits you. And that is the throne of glory. As I close Chuka and get ready for tomorrow, I came to announce to you that it is time to appear in glory. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. It is time to appear in glory. Give me some strings, woman of God. Hold the mic. I say it is time to appear in glory. It is time to appear in glory. I know you have failed before in life. I know you have a failed relationship. But it is time to appear in glory. Our families shall appear in glory. Your children shall appear in glory. Somebody begin to prophesy over your life that what you touch shall appear in glory. Your husband shall appear in glory. Your life shall appear in glory. Somebody pray. Kenya, Kenya shall appear. Kenya shall appear in glory. Chuka shall appear in glory. Embu shall appear in glory. Our church shall appear in glory. If you are watching me online, begin to declare. You can type right there that we shall appear in glory. Appear in glory. Appear not in shame, but in glory. Come on, somebody pray. Hey, I pray, I pray that we shall appear in glory. Appear, appear. You shall appear before kings. You shall appear before queens. Appear in glory. I prophesy, I prophesy to your children. They shall appear in glory. Your children shall appear in glory. They shall appear in glory. Come on, bring it on, bring it on. Appear in glory. Appear. You shall appear in glory. Father, I pray no more shame in our lives. King of glory, let your glory fall. Let your glory fall. Let your glory fall. No more shame. No more pain. No more crying. No more depression. Appear in the glory of God. Appear. Appear. You shall appear in the glory of God. Come on, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Pray in prayer. Somebody pray. Somebody pray for the glory. Somebody pray. Somebody pray that you shall appear in glory. You shall appear in glory. Show me your glory. Lord, show me your glory. Daddy, show me your glory. Daddy, show us your glory. In this meeting, Father, 
may we see your glory may we experience your glory show us your glory hey ya kanada da 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 hey ya kanada 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 da 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 I sense him. He's here. He's here. He's here. Open your heart. He's here. Somebody open your heart. Glory, 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 glory. Appear. Daddy, appear. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Appear, Daddy, appear, manifest your glory, 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 Pray. Somebody pray for the glory. Somebody speak those words. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. I know they are fighting you. Just pray for the glory of God over your life. The glory is visible in the house. His glory is visible. If you are watching online, just say, Lord, show me your glory. And your situation is going to change. That your child shall be healed. That child that is sick shall receive healing. Go lay hands on your baby. There's somebody watching us online. Your baby is sick. Lay your hands upon the baby and you shall see the glory of God. Oh, lift your voice. Cut the music. Continue praying. Lift your voice above the keyboard. Cut it completely. Yes, go ahead. When you get there, I'll tell you. Come on, somebody pray. Yes. You, you feel him. Go. Come on, go. Oh, Sadia Haya. Come on, somebody. Come on. Show me your glory. Lift your voice. Lift, lift it high. You can do better than that. When you get there, I'll tell you. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. No music, no, no guitar, no, no keyboard, nothing. Somebody lift your voice. That's it. That's it. That's it. His glory is coming down. Healing is taking place right now. Restoration is coming. I see tumor leaving your body. I see ulcers leaving you. 
I see fibros leaving your body right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The more you pray, the more you, the more you alter your fashion. The more you fashion your situation. Come on, lift your voice. Lift your voice, lift your voice. Yes, you've got a problem with your backbone. God is healing you now. You, you feel pain on your backbone. Healing is taking place right now. He is working on your back now. He is aligning your back. Woo! Glory, glory, glory. He is here to touch somebody. He is here to touch a life. You shall appear in glory. Oh, let me pray. Oh, I see, I see the glory. I see the glory, I see the glory. Somebody's been healed right now. Somebody's been delivered. Oh, yeah, na, 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 Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. He's fashioning. He's making adjustments to suit you. Ziki na 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 some of you are receiving visions right now god is opening your eyes you are seeing visions some of you some of you have been asking God for direction tonight. He's giving you direction. I'm seeing somebody here for six months. You have been praying for direction. Six months asking God for direction tonight. While we are praying, before you step out of this building, the path shall be clear before you. I see unfinished building finished. You started building, but you ran out of resources. And your project is on window level. I'm seeing the glory of God. God is releasing resources. You shall finish your building. Actually, you are three. I see three people. Three people are into building. But you are struggling to finish your house. The glory of God that is here tonight will manifest into that building. And resources are coming. And you are going to finish your building. Glory. Hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, Saria, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, Siria, handa knash. Men sai kiando toskina hala. Men yande le 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 son sash. Yante kina tololo. Imianda da mianda da kina se. Miete le 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 son da dia da da. Le 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 so se le le sh. Ya le 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 shinda da se le le le. You shall finish. You finish in glory. 2023 you finish it in glory you are not gonna complain you finish this year with a testimony one more minute pray one more minute one more minute one more minute there's somebody who came with heaviness in your spirit in your body 
God is touching you right now. That heaviness is gone. That heaviness is gone. I'm seeing a heart condition being healed right now. That palpitation, God, God's glory is touching your heart now. That heart condition is being healed right now by the power that is in the name of the Lord. Somebody in this place, you've got problem with your legs. You can't even walk properly. You have no strength in your legs. Right now, I want you to stand up and receive the strength of God now. God is healing you. God is giving you strength to your legs. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Yande desire. Yande desire. Rise up and walk. You've got problem with your legs. Rise up and walk. Lift your legs. You're going to see pain gone. I want you to lift them. He is healing you. Every heaviness is out. Every heaviness is gone. Glory, glory, glory. Elelelesaya. Shakinaya. Every chest pain. Every chest pain. Difficult in breathing. It is gone. It is gone. Every itchy eye. You've got a problem with your left eye. Your left eye gives you problem. Sometimes it becomes very itchy. God is healing that eye now. You are receiving your sight. You are receiving your sight. Somebody came with pain in the chest. That pain is going now. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. You check your chest. No more pain. Glory is here. The glory of God is in the house. Woo! Let every sickness go. I command every sickness to go. West pain, west pain. Backache, backache. Let it go. Let it go right now. Let it go right now. Let it go right now. Depression go. Depression go. Delay go. Every stagnation, no more stagnation. Because of the glory of God. Lord, appear. Appear that the enemy may disappear. Father, let your glory appear so that the enemy may disappear. May your glory appear to the disappearance of poverty. May your glory appear to the disappearance of pain. Receive your healing from every heart condition. Receive your healing from that heaviness you feel in your legs. That heart is being healed right now. That heart, that heart. You are a lady. You are a lady who got a heart condition. God is healing you right now. You're going to feel it. Makanda Saya. Ndada Saya. Ngetoto Soshaya. Mariande Kemonaya. I see a file. A file they told you that they lost it. It shall appear now by the glory of God. That file, they can't find it. And things have been stagnant. Things don't move because they, someone decided to hit that file. I'm seeing God pulling that file out. And you shall testify. That file shall reappear to the glory of God. And you shall see progress in your life. In the name of Jesus. Come on, tell him, show me your glory. When he shows his glory, files begins to reappear. When his glory comes down, files begins to reappear. When his glory comes down, that vehicle at the border you shall clear. You are struggling. You want to buy a car. No money for clearance. Glory has come. Glory, glory, glory. When the glory appear, every pain goes. When the glory appear, no more shame because his glory is here some of you in your families they don't consider you they look down on you but just as the glory appeared on david tonight god's glory has appeared in your life god is gonna lift you you are no longer at the back god is pulling you to the front you are a leader you know it that you have got grace but somehow things don't work you know you have the anointing but you can't see results i see god picking you with his hand by the power of his glory he is removing you from the back and he's taking you to the front glory
Moria da Kasaya, Moria da Kasaya, Ilianda da Kasaya. I pray for a miracle in somebody's life. In the next three days, in the next three days, may somebody testify that HIV and AIDS has been healed. In the next three days, may somebody testify that the pain is gone in that leg. In the next three days, may the lame walk, my God. May the blind eyes open, glory. In the name of Jesus, heal that heart. Somebody has been disappointed and your heart is broken. But I see God mending your heart. God is mending your heart from past pain. Your heart is so broken. You smile. People don't know that you carry pain in your heart. The glory has appeared and no more pain in your life. No more pain. No more pain in your life. No more pain in your life. No more pain in your life. They have forgotten about you, but God will cause them to remember you. Glory, come down in your glory, appear mighty God. Keep playing it, play that key softly, and I want you to meditate on the goodness of the Lord. Just go ahead and meditate. If you can lift your hands, lift your hands and meditate on the glory of God. Yes. Give me that key on the keyboard. Don't change that same key. Play it. Don't change it, same key. Just that sound. The glory is here. Meditate on his hymn. He's here. Give me a bit of volume on the keyboard now. He's here. Somebody feel numb in your hands. That's the glory of God. You feel like your hand something very pricking your hand come on yes yes give me that key on the keyboard give it to me something is about to explode in this place meditate on the goodness of god i want you to see mountains running away from you mountains melting like wax see that sea pattern before you see that file the, the lost file see it coming back i see the barren conceiving i see this time next year you shall have a baby in your hands. Play that keyboard. Don't change the key. Just that sound. Yes, that. Something is about to explode. Miracles are happening everywhere. If you're watching us from wherever you are, in whichever nation, join us now. We're experiencing the glory of God. Somebody is groaning in the spirit. Go ahead. You feel like groaning in the spirit. Shanda Kinahaya. Release your glory upon us. Release your glory upon us. Let your glory appear like it appeared in a cloud. Let it appear now. Let there be adjustments in our lives because of your glory. Fashion something in us because of your glory. Alter something, my God. Let every fibros be gone because of your glory. Let that whom they say cannot have a child conceive a baby because of your glory. Let that person watching us from home who is sick receive healing now because of your glory. If you can't move that leg, you're watching us, begin to move that leg now. Begin to move your leg to the glory of God. And you shall experience the miracle of God in your body. Begin to move that leg. Move that leg. Play it like that. See yourself becoming victorious because of the glory of God. 
see God parting the Red Sea and the Jordan River before you. I want to see water coming out of the rock. See God speaking from a tree. The heavens declares. The heavens declares the glory of God. The heavens declares the glory of God. And Moses and Aaron appeared in the glory. Appeared in the glory. He raises up the poor out of the dust. And he lifted up the beggar from the downhill to set them among princes. And to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And he has set the world upon them give me that bass guitar like that come on oh yeah saya saria kinahaya this is a part you pray you worship him in kikuyu this is a part you worship him in lua this is a part you worship him in any other tongue you feel he who dwells in the in the shelter of the most high we will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor the pestilence that stalks of dark in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. Can I hear that praise, please? No evil shall be allowed to be for you. No plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they shall bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will trade on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent. You will tramp underfoot because he holds you fast to me in love. I will deliver him, says the Lord. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble and I will rescue him and honor him. For with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Kadesh. Constanda kinahaya. Iriahondo komosa kinahaya. Iriahanda da 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 se le 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 le. Ya la 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 ya le le ya la la ya. Yesa sana ya ne le kinahaya. Oyondo go mina rigina mina e Ya gine sai Oya e Sasana e aliria onakina Yedede mina sonakina Yelele yalala yelele yalala e Zianda da mene ne 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 mena Yede de zanina gina ho Hoya e hoya e Hoya e hoya e May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble May the name of the Lord of God of Jacob protect you May he send you help from the sanctuary And give you support from Zion May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifice. Amen. 
May he grant you your heart's desires and fulfill all your plans. May you shout for joy over your salvation. And in the name of our God, set up the banners. Sandia Dada. Uyaye. 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 The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And give you peace. So shall you put the name of the Lord. Upon the people of Chuka. And we shall bless the name of the Lord. Somebody worship him. Speaking tongues if you can. Speaking tongues if you can. Glory. Glory. You are the lifter of our heads. Oh, glory. 30 seconds, clap for Jesus. Go ahead and clap for him. <laughs>